Ivanka runs that empire behind the scenes. She's so, calling the shots. Yeah, so you've mentioned that. I, I, I've seen you mention the fact that right. not only she call the shots, but that that she plays him a lot. Like she would, would joke about him to you. Oh, the- yeah. And to Jared. So she like the last three seasons, I was her specific handler. She wasn't around too much in the early seasons. She would come on and come into a boardroom and like give her fake smile. So you you had said that she is completely different than everyone knows her. Like what's the right. difference between how she really is and what everyone seems to think she is? She speaks in a much lower voice. So her speaking voice is like an octave lower in real life. She sounds like a sailor from Queens. Like she curses, <laughs> you know what I mean? She just be like, fuck you, Jared. You know what I mean? It's literally shocking, you know? And they'd make fun of him. Back to your earlier question. A PA came up once and said, here's your, here's your, I call her Vonky. You know, that was a nickname, but here's your sides, Ivanka. And I've given them to your father too. And she's like, oh really? I'm sure he'll read them right away. And her and Jared are laughing because he's dyslexic. He can't read. At the apprentice, he asked for a golf cart to go from that parking garage I told you about to where we shot the thing, which is the Lafrac Theater. If you've ever been to the Museum of Natural History, where the IMAX theater is, you know? Yeah, a couple it's of blocks. Eight, not even. It's 80 feet. And he sat there for an hour. And we're like, we can't drive a golf cart. It's a museum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where are we going to get a golf cart? He's like, fuck you. Make it happen. Yeah. So, and, uh, and Ivanka had to come talk him out of the car and she slipped into that voice I was telling you about that breathy sibilant S thing she does that's for daddy um, the dynamic between uh, Ivanka and Donald um, it's been joked about a bunch but you've seen it firsthand and you think do you think that not that it's actually anything happening, but do you think that there's something sexual in his mind and she's just playing that? Like, how do you, yes. how is that yeah. going down? What? I think she, she knows he's sexually attracted to her. You've seen her as a 10 year old girl. He would dress her up like a model and bring her as his date to society events. Just creepy stuff. There's the famous photos we've all seen with his hands practically down her shirt. And she's like 11, you know? He remade her face. She had several plastic surgeries. She looked nothing like that when she was 13 and starting her modeling career. So he sort of made her in the image, you know, of what his ideal is, which is just creepy. And she went along with it. So how did she? How did she, her- she can't breathe through her nose either. Like she would have to breathe through a straw to put on makeup in the makeup chair and stuff because she's had so many, you know, plastic surgeries. But to that point, she knows that he's attracted to her. I said, I saw her at 16, give him a lap dance, and he just stared at everybody like, what? You so, can see it at Mar-a-Lago. She did it to him. Hold on. So describe this, how this goes down, right? So where is this happening? Is this on the set? Yeah, on the set of Miss Teen Universe when she was the host. She gave him a lap dance. Gave him a lap she dance. gave him a, a lap dance. On your lap, dancing to the music. <laughs> no, no, I know what you're doing. You, you can look, look, if you don't believe me, look at the picture of Mar Lago. Just Google, you know, Ivanka giving him a lap dance. She's sitting there in the front row at Mar Lago, right? On his lap, in short shorts, grinding. She's 14 years old. There's a couple next to them. The wife and dude are like, what? You know what I mean? Because it's creepy. And she's rocking out. And that, that picture, I think, was like 1995 or 96. The band that was playing was the Beach Boys, right? right. So, like, every 15-year-old girl was just really into the Beach Boys in 1996, <laughs> right? Like, Mike Love was just the shit back then, right, right. you know? So she just forgot she was on her dad's lap because she was, you know, they're, so, play, you know, they're playing good vibrations. <laughs> but, and, but if you see that look in his eye, that's what he does. And if you go back and look at the pictures of her as a little girl, when he's bringing her as his date to these parties, it's the same look. He looks at everyone else in the room like, what? Like, I can do this. This is my, pos- you know, my possession. And he holds her really tight. If you look at all the pictures, she's a little girl. Her hands are white from the pressure of him holding her. And there's countless pictures. So don't you know, don't take my word for it. Look at those pictures and think, would you ever pose like that in the back of a limo with your daughter lying yeah, across? I've, I've seen some of them. They're disgusting. Right. Um, and, you know, but you, 
so now she uses that like you've heard her go up to him and talk to him in, in a in a in, way to get him to do what he what she exactly wants. exactly in a breathy voice to sort of she's his, that's why she came to dc with him that's why she got an office right next to the oval office she, He's like his handler. And there was a way, there was a while that she was traveling with him to all these foreign countries too. You know, she's like the Trump whisperer. If stuff gets too crazy, they send in Ivanka. That's why she was there that day, you know, that that Lori just mentioned. It was because he'd gone down into the bunker on Friday night and he was getting trashed for it online. So he was freaking out. He was probably throwing his depends across the room and like flinging pieces (laughs) at the wall. Like... Because for that dude, getting embarrassed is a fate worse than death. If you saw him get booed at that baseball stadium last God, summer. God, that he, crushed him, man. It, you could see him dying inside. He was crying. Yeah, like he he can't, was going to cry. Right. He still wants people to like him. That's that compulsion I told you, that narcissistic shit. So she was called in to the White House that Monday because they're probably like, the shit's hitting the fan. Your old man is in, on a fetal, in a fetal position on the floor because everyone was calling him bunker bitch online. Right, yeah. You know? So she's coming in to save the day. What can we do? So she'd be like, Father, I know what we'll do. We'll have a big photo op of you hold up the Bible. It'll be better. You know, she's probably stroking his hair or something, you know? And of course, it's the worst disaster and yeah, exactly yeah. any president has ever done. I mean, they tear gas the crowd to do that. And that's Trump. That's it in a nutshell. You yeah. know? It's just it's Everything is clearly self-serving. Um, everything. Here's how I describe Don Jr. And I go after him just as hard. I just went after him right before this show. If the <laughs> Dalai, if the Dalai Lama met Don Jr., he'd be like, "I need to punch that dude in the face." <laughs> the, the Pope, the Pope would be like, "I'll hold him, bro. You just hate that guy. You don't even. You're just in a room, and you're like, oh, this, this dude." He makes his father look nice. And actually, his father is nice compared to Don Jr. Yeah. Don is just as racist. He's a little suck up who thinks he's going to be president someday, too. Watch out for Don Jr. There's yeah. a reason he's opening all these MAGA rallies. He's a prick. Yeah. What about. And he, he didn't talk to his dad for a year. So it's right. like he's got for a. Three years. Because of what you mentioned earlier, Lori, because his dad attacked his mom. You know, and cheated on her publicly. He didn't. He he hated his father, and he was a drunk at Penn. And you know, he he would do his own bad things to girls and do tons of blow and stuff. He was trying to run away from his father, and then he realized he was his father. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. then he became his father, and now he's fully embraced it. Yeah, it's like yeah. he's 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 bad news. Twizzlers, I think you're about to ask me about Eric Trump. We called him Twizzlers because he, he would take all the red Twizzlers off the craft service table. This is the other thing. They're broke. They're grifters. The apprentice was their biggest paycheck in years. He had blown all the money that his dad left him, the $400 million or whatever. So that was a big paycheck. That's why you saw all the kids because they wanted a per diem. They wanted a weekly SAG wages after wages from shooting the show. And at the end of the show, shooting, they would take the cliff bars off a of craft service, just like you and I would if you were on a show. Like, I would take shit home. Right. You know, but I'm, I live on the Upper East Side in a one-bedroom. You know, these guys are supposedly going back to their billionaire tower with their name on it. So, but, no, uh, when, when you see him go to St. John's and pose with that Bible, and then we learn it's Ivanka's idea, what did you think about that? No surprise. That's what I'm telling people. She's pulling the strings. She carried the, the Bible too, right? In her yeah, it was in her purse. purse. Right. Ivanka is the president. Jared is the president. They're running the show. I tell people this. This is what Trump wants. He wants music to play when he walks in the room. He wants to get high and he wants to hit on women. He could care less about governing. He actually doesn't even care that much about getting rich. The guy's lost more money than most people would make. You know what I mean? It's about what he can get in the moment. He's that much of a narcissist. He needs immediate gratification all the time to fill this hole in his soul. Ivanka is playing the long game, and so are Je- so is Jared. You know, so they're trying to salvage this thing, and they see the country on fire. They see how bad it is, and they're like, "How can we spin this to look good to the base?" And so that that was 
what she did. So I wasn't surprised at all. She's a she's a deft soldier in that army. And and people underestimate her. She's not stupid. They like to say she's really dumb. She's not really dumb. Oh, I never thought she was stupid. Right. She does seem very manipulative. Here's a here's a question that kind of applies. She's the smartest Trump. Yeah, that's she a- is. Yeah, but that that's like yeah, that's like yeah, the tallest elf. So here's a question: What was Jared like? Like, what what's Jared like as, as just a dude? Like a psycho killer. You know what I mean? <laughs> like 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 the she dude you see like at the top of the well as the basket's coming down with the lotion in it. You know, and you're kind of getting a glimpse. And you're like, yeah, I'm not getting out of here alive. This motherfucker's going to eat me, you know? <laughs> he, he's insane. He's insane, you know? he He's very mild-mannered. And I knew them when they were just dating. She, he was just dating her, and they broke up. And Wendy Dang Murdoch got them back together. Because Trump would call him the Jew. He would like, is the Jew here yet? Like, <laughs> insane stuff. And he was kind of like, in the beginning, like, nah, I'm out of here. Screw this. And if you know who Wendy Dang Murdoch is, she was Putin's girlfriend. Then she married Rupert Murdoch. She got them back together. And Ivanka and Wendy went off on a vacation. But uh, it's, a, it's a convenient marriage. You know, Jared's very ambitious, too. Ivanka's not really his type, is what I would get. You know what I mean? But it was a good person to marry if you, if you want to marry into a rich family. Like an and old Trump. King and queen marriage. Like the f- something like that. I don't want to demonstrate. Den- there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I think his trainer is more like who he's interested in than than, than she. Mm. But uh, that's that doesn't matter, you know. But um, he's creepy. He's creepy AF. You know what I mean? I got the creeps from that dude as soon as I met him. And if you see, he's gotten way creepier. He was a good looking dude when I met him. He had dimples. It's good looking dude. Now he looks crazy. Like he's Botoxing. They both Botox, you know, unbelievably too much. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm saying there's something you can see what losing your soul does to your physicality, you know? Yeah, sure. Well, and he thought he could solve uh, the Mideast problems. Mideast peace problems, yeah. right? The opioid crisis. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, immigration. Uh, COVID, right? He was Googling, yep. what is coronavirus when they assigned that to him? <laughs> and, 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 but that goes to my point. Trump doesn't care about any of this stuff. So he says, like, let Jared do it. Because Jared was the guy in the campaign that figured out who they needed to target to win. 